Okay, so this is part two of um, an introduction to Logic Pro 9. Uh, just giving you a quick sort of like uh, brief overview of what uh, Logic Pro is 9, what sort of things you can do with it, what sort of sounds you can get. Um, obviously this isn't going to be a full uh, in-depth sort of thing, it's just basically going over the surface of Logic Pro. I don't want to go too in-depth, I probably will do it at a later date. Um, uh, in part one I looked at audio, which is the 10 to 12 audio we looked at, and um, I put a guitar amp on it, I changed the EQ a little bit and basically mess about with it in general. Now I'm going to uh, change uh, MIDI sounds etc etc. So I've got a Steinway piano here at the moment. If I double click it, it'll open the piano roll. I'm just going to bring this up a little bit. And then obviously I can type in notes. Um, I'll just uh, to put a little loop on that. Oops, sorry. Mute that, so obviously we don't need it on the guitar. It does sound like a very realistic piano, which is very good. I mean, in Cubase, it did sound very MIDI-ish. Uh, that's the only way I can really put, describe it. But uh, it didn't sound very realistic. The sounds in Logic sound very, very realistic. Um, actually, I might just lengthen that. Um, I really like the sounds. But obviously, you know, you don't have to ha have a piano. If you go to Media... You can change all that, so you can uh, also use you can use Logic instruments. So I don't really go into that very much often. You have bass guitars, you can have drums and percussion keyboards, um, but there's obviously like organs and uh, electric, uh, more electric stuff in that one. Synthesizers, so there are lots of synth pads. Bearing in mind, I've only installed the bare minimum, so I, I've only installed the um, Logic Studio programs, uh, which I will cover in another um, in another video. Um, there are six DVDs, uh, no, nine, sorry, nine DVDs in total, one install disc, and then three are jam packs, uh, and then three are more audio content, so you get surround sound, more presets, a lot more um, instrument sounds, so there'll be a lot more instrument sounds here, um, and also you get a demo, demos and tutorials to mess about with. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm hopefully going to get a bigger hard drive for Christmas, as I've said in one of my previous videos, and I'm going to um, install the rest of the sounds, because otherwise it takes up too much space. It's 55 gigabytes in total, so just bear that in mind if you're going to install Logic Pro 9. But it's definitely worth it. I've, I've got all the discs, so um, I'm just waiting to get that bigger hard drive to install them all. So um, going down, also you can change it to uh, acoustic guitar, you can change it to an electric guitar, so let's change it to a modern guitar. And obviously, as you can see, it puts effects on it for you. So obviously, here we've got a limiter, we've got a guitar amp on it, we've got uh, d uh, not delay, reverb on it, we've got a flanger, and we've got compression. We haven't got an EQ, but obviously that's the effects you can change. And also, you, you can go in and change all of this. You know, you can change it from that and ch you know just change it to something else. Uh, fat stack. Yeah, it's fantastic. You know, you can change every single aspect of your MIDI sound. Which is absolutely fantastic. So, um, hang on, I just need want to uh, go back a minute. Mm, don't know how. <laughs> okay, yeah. So I'm uh, I'm back to the um, all the other sounds now. Um, sorry, just had a quick glitch. Uh, somebody calling up at me. Um, I've managed to also set that. Oh, gosh. Um, so yeah, I'm going to reset my loop thing. There we go. There we go. Um, and obviously, yeah, I can change it to any other sounds as well. So there are just some more sounds like so. But for the meantime, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick to um, Steinway Piano. It's just fairly basic and very easy to sort of demonstrate what I want to do. So uh, getting rid of media. Uh, obviously, uh, I'll just quickly show you. Uh, you can also uh, browser, so that's like um, your computer. So if there are any files you want to drag in, you can drag them in from there, which I suggest you do. These are all the loops. There are tons of loops, and obviously more loops when you saw all the extra stuff. And this is your audio bin, so if you've got any audio recordings, this is where you'll find them. Uh, even if you delete it from your uh, project, they'll still be in the bin. So going back to this... Um, I'll just extend this uh, looping range a bit so you can hear the reverb. Um, 
It has got uh, EQ on it and it has got um, uh, reverb on it, but obviously I can change this reverb. So this is what it sounds like at the moment. But I want it to sound like... Let's go black hole because that's fun. That's always fun. As you can see, there's a lot more reverb on that now. And obviously I can go in and change the EQ as well. So I'll change the bass. Change the treble. Oh gosh. You know, just mess about with that. That's another thing. When you play it, you can also see sort of where the sound is sort of molding around your EQ. But that you that's only uh, effective on MIDI sounds I found. But you know, it's really good. You can change every single aspect of these sounds. And also, I want to try something very quickly. I just want to see, check how much time I've got left, actually. Um, come on. Yeah, I've got just a few more minutes. Hopefully, I want to try this. I've never I've never tried this before, but I would, I would like to try it. Um, I'm just, I've just created a new uh, instrument track. I'm going to go to loops. And I'm going to put, uh, let's have a look. Uh, let's go horn. Okay, so that's a loop. Uh, I want that to stop, so let's go woodwind. Get, get stop. <laughs> okay, so these are all real samples that they that they have recorded. Um, so obviously, and you know. So I'm going to use that <laughs> for fun. Um, just, and I'm basically going to put it in here. So, and apparently you can use these sounds uh, on the piano roll, but I'm not too sure uh, how you do it. I'm just going to very quickly see if I can try and do this. Um, there we go. Convert regions into new sampler track, and then I'm going to do. Um, let's go from regions. Create zones from regions. No, that doesn't look too good, promising. Hmm. Oh wait, there's mine. Yeah. It's just come out as one. Hang on. I'm gonna try that again. Um bear with me a moment. There we go. That's better. Uh, it's actually converted each of the sort of like the notes into uh, a note on the piano roll. If you look here, so that is a note. Doesn't it works to an extent, but not amazingly. Um, Um, I think there's obviously there's probably a better way of doing it, but that's just a very quick sort of way. I I probably will probably sort of look at that in a later video, but that's just a very quick demonstration. I, I have seen a video on how to do it, but uh, I will show you again in a later video. But um, yeah, so you can actually do that. Convert your sam uh, sample tracks, audio sample tracks, into uh, a MIDI sound, so you can use real uh, audio uh, for your MIDI data, which is fantastic. So. But that's just a very quick look at Logic Pro 9. Um, you know, it, if you're interested in it, do subscribe to my videos. I'm going to be doing a whole load more on Logic Pro 9. Um, maybe a few tutorials if I can uh, get around to it. Um, but this has just been a very quick skim over the top of Logic Pro 9. Just the interface, what it looks like, what you can do on it, all the sounds you can get. Um, you know, and I'll be going over some more uh, in-depth things like flex and automation, etc., uh, etc. Et when I've had more of a play about, because I know how to use them, but I really want to sort of master them. Um, so uh, yeah, until next time, um, bye bye. Balanced on the biggest wave, race to one.